What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in the last video, TJ and I went to Ollie's to get some cars and if you look closely here, the tires on this are actually like kind of square. Now we opened the one TJ got and his were very square. So I think what I'm going to do in this video is go back to Ollie's and exchange this for the other blue car that I was looking at. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I don't know. We just weren't happy with the way it looked. So that's what we're going to do today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. First, I gotta drop off a lunch to Miss Lisa, but of course I'm gonna put a car in there as a good luck charm. So it is time to say goodbye to the 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Yeah, as I said before, we took TJ's out of the case and the wheels were square, it was rubbing, it wouldn't roll. And upon further investigation, it seems that these are not in the best shape either. So, sorry car, someone else is gonna have to take you home because I'm bringing you back. All right guys, we are back in the aisle and here's another one here. And yeah, you can see that these tires, they're just all deformed. So I don't know if that's why these are at Ollie's or not, but I don't see it to be like like that on every car so this is the one we're gonna exchange it for the 1973 Pontiac Grand Am it is also in blue and yeah at the end of the last video before we left I kind of looked at the two at which one I'd want I grabbed this one but then I got home and realized TJ grabbed one too so kind of was like well I mean I, I want to go back anyways but then like I said we looked at the wheels and they were square and that was pretty much a done deal now I'm also considering maybe picking up this one here, the 1976 Plymouth Roadrunner. I'm not a huge muscle car fan as some of you guys may know. That being said, I kind of do like them with the Johnny Lightnings. It's kind of made me a believer, man. Down here we have this 1991 Camaro Z28 1LE. Reminds me a lot of the cars that my friends had in high school. They were kind of old by then, so none of them ever really ran right, and I had a turbocharged car is my first car so I literally blew the doors in on all of them and they were all really salty so I do actually like this white one more than I like the uh, I don't even know where it went what was the other color I forgot already I don't even remember where was it even I don't even know where it was I think it was red right it was red. TJ did grab a Mustang here. I'm gonna take a look one more time to make sure that we didn't miss any white lightnings. I don't think we did because it's clear to me that a lot of these have been gone through but I'm gonna check anyways just in case so we don't leave but if you remember the video when I first came here which is about a month ago two months ago I don't even know there was tons of different cars here and a good majority of those are gone now so there has been a huge swap out so someone knows about this place all right let me look i'll be right back all right i gave it a pretty good look through and really right now it's basically between these two cars here well they're the same car but different color i think i actually do like the silver it's got a little bit of metallic in it so we're gonna grab that and we're gonna grab this in replacement of this Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Let's check the tires on the Roadrunner. Yep, it looks good to me. All right, let's make our move. All right, now that we got that taken care of, let's check this Target and see if we can find anything cool. Entering the aisle, the first thing I notice is this Fast and Furious GTR here. This thing's pretty cool. I really like that, actually. They also have the Roman's Camaro, Don's Chevrolet Fleet Line. Looking up here, it looks like they get the same wave of these pink slips. It's funny, the larger pink slips keep getting replaced, but they're still on the same set, I guess you'd say, with these smaller ones. Looking over here, the Life, Johnny Lightning, and then these, like, square box ones, Model Worlds. Looks like just some peg warmers. I really do like this thing. I really kind of want it, but... Nah, not today. See it again, I think. We have seen it before. Shelby GTR Ultra Hots. Is this the same series? Yeah, this is the original series with the Civic. But there are no Civics here. Two packs looking pretty much the same, as well as the 143 cars. Premiums are totally empty. I was kind of hoping I'd find a race day here, the one that I don't have. But, mm, I don't know. I don't see anything much else here. I do have some end case as far as main lines go, but just some uh, leftover stuff. 
check the end cap and then we'll carry on. Uh, yeah. There's nothing here. Check out this Mach 1 Mustang here. This thing's actually really nice. I like those wheels. It's a six speed, a little bit of orange. That is beautiful. Wow, that is a really nice Mustang. And I'm not a huge fan of Mustangs, but that color and that orange, wow. All right, we are checking out a Walmart. I don't know what I'm really looking for here, but maybe I'll find the race day car that I don't have. It looks like nothing has changed as far as the main lines go. That's all right, I'm not really looking for that. Tons of neon speeders here, just the RS and the Fantasies and a couple Vipers. Only one Forza car. Matchbox is looking pretty empty, overstocked with team transports that nobody's buying. Wow, they got a lot of them here, huh? One of each out of the series, and the pegs are stacked. It looks like the Alpha is the most popular out of them. I myself bought the Alpha. I also was not interested in the others, so... It's not surprising to see them here on the shelf still. This is the store where I found the only Nissan bot. Well, I saw them in another store, but I didn't notice them until I had left and was watching the video. So I've only seen them twice, and it doesn't look like they've gotten anything in. And yes, guys, this is twice I've seen it now. Dude, this thing is sick. I really like this color too. So we never saw the Huracan again. That looks like it was just a one-time deal, and it's already been replaced, as you saw in the last video, by these. So pink slips are pumping out. I wouldn't probably have gotten the Huracan anyways, but I did like that one the best. And yeah, I think that's it for this store. We're gonna go to one more Target. Hopefully I find something cool there. I'd like to find some race day, maybe the Ford or the Porsche here. That would be cool. I see some team transports. Just the normal ones, no Fast and Furious. Okay, so here's some race days. We got the Audi and we got the S Martin. I want the S Martin, but again, I'm not gonna buy it till I find the Ford and the Porsche. So I guess that's not today. But hopefully Target gets more stocks of them sometime soon because I really would like at least the Ford. The Ford would be cool. Hey, look at that, Sentra. So many places to buy die cast near me and they all never have anything. Well, that's not true. I find a lot of cool stuff, but it looks like this one is a bust. Let's check the end cap. Someone's been here. So there's likely nothing good. All right, guys, we are back home. We didn't really find anything on the rest of our hunt, but we exchanged the car at Ollie's and we got two new awesome Johnny Lightnings. So the one I exchanged for, this is what I had in mind, the goal I pretty much set to go there, change out that bright blue car, which was cool, the Kruger Eliminator, but the wheels are square, you saw that, and swap it for the other blue car, which is a 1973 Pontiac Grand Am. Looking at this car and thinking about like the mid 90s Grand Am, it's like, what the heck? Everything went front wheel drive and just stupid, right? And then we also got this 1976 Plymouth Volare Roadrunner in a sick silver looking color. It's got red interior. Wheels in this look okay. I noticed that they kind of look bent. I think it's I think it's that one. One of the tires looked bent out. I don't remember if it was in the front or rear. Yeah, see there you go. The front tire is kind of bent out, but no big deal. Honestly, guys, I think I might open both of these. I really don't know yet. I'm still deciding on it. I, I definitely think I want to open this one though. Muscle cars are growing on me guys. They really, really are. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.